Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Keystone Summerlin 2600 TB. This particular model we're going to go over is in the Kona interior. Now this is kind of a 2018.5 model, meaning that it has some of the changes you'll see going forward for some of those fall changes and some of the things you will see in the 2019 models when those come out. Part of it is the darker wood. You'll see they darkened up the wood here, and because they've done that, they have lightened up the flooring, a nice bright countertops here as well to ha uh, help accent the darker wood. But for the floor plan itself, starting right over here, you have the dinette. I like when manufacturers are able to give you a campsite dinette because you get a nice big view here of your campsite, and that's what you wanna see. You don't wanna look out to your neighbors, you want to have your uh, breakfast, your morning cup of coffee, and be able to see right out to your campsite. Plus, that large window lets in a lot of natural light as well. This also does drop down into a bed if you need that additional sleeping space. You simply remove the legs here from the flange in the floor as well as the flange in the table. The table itself will then sit right along these rails. You can take the back cushions, put them on top, and that will create your sleeping space. You also will notice underneath here you have an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug, any, uh, plug in any electronics while you're at the table, that is where you will do it. And you do have storage underneath both sides of the dinette here. For TV hookups, those are right here along the wall. You also have dual USB port. The TV itself, if you want one, will be mounted right up here. They did put a bracket in the wall for you. Right over next to that is your uh, entertainment center. This unit is Bluetooth capable, so if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can connect to that via Bluetooth. This does control the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside. You'll also see good storage all the way across the top here. You can see that there. Additional storage right over here. They still use the same nice, uh, you know, kind of brush nickel pulls there. Right underneath, you'll also notice you have an LED light to give you some of that light at night. Now this is a bunk model and right in the back here are your double over double bunks. You'll see they're nice and wide, that way if you have two small children that need to sleep up here you can, or an adult. It does have a 300 pound weight capacity on there. You also notice you have the window up top, you also have an LED light on both top and bottom bunks. Right in the back here is the bathroom. As I open this up you'll see right down in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. And then right up next to that is your tub shower. I like having a tub in a bunk model because if you do have smaller kids that need a bath, you're easily able to give them a bath here. But you will see the hand wand is nice and high, so if you need to shower, you can certainly do that as well. And then right up top, you have your vent fan directly above the shower to quickly help moisture escape. You can also see your shower curtain there, LED light in here as well in case you are using the bathroom at night. Right outside the bathroom, you have your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. Right down below is your sink top here. You can see you do have some good storage or good space on the side. So if you have a curling iron or hair dryer you need to set down, you can do that. Electrical outlet there right up top. And then underneath the sink, you do have some additional storage. As we move up a little bit further here, you move into the kitchen. Dometic fridge freezer combo right over here. We open that up, you see you have good space in there, cut out for some taller items, couple of drawers down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Microwave right up top here, directly beneath that is your hood with a light and fan. And of course that is located over your three burner cooktop. Uh, this one does have an oven, so if you like to bake, you have the uh, oven you can use there. And then right over to the side, you'll see you have some additional storage here underneath the sink. Little cutout, maybe not a bad spot to put some spices there. A large single bowl sink in here. I really like single bowl sinks if you use residential cookware. You know, you have the bigger pots and pans. They're able to sit down in here. It makes it nice and easy to wash out, especially with the high-rise pull-out faucet. Of course, you have a window there as well. It'll again, let in some natural light, LED light here for nighttime. Right on the wall, you will see uh, your monitor panel for your tanks as well as your battery. Directly above that is your water heater. Notice that this one does run off both gas and electric, and you can turn both of those on at the same time for higher recovery. Then right up top here, you have some additional pantry space. Right over to the side, you have an electrical outlet, so if you do need to plug in a coffee maker or toaster, you have a spot in which you can do it. 
An additional window, again, to let in that natural light during the day, make it feel a lot more open. Electrical outlet right behind that, too. Uh, that's ma That main use for that is if you're sitting here on the couch, you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, you have a spot in which you can do it. Uh, this is a jackknife sofa, so it folds down nice and easy into a bed. And then you also get all the great storage underneath, which is an excellent spot for that additional bedding. Right above that, you have an LED light here, as well as some storage going all the way across. You will see your ceiling mounted speakers, as well as an AC here as well, with the controls mounted right there. The bedroom of the 2600 TB features a camper queen bed. On either side, you will notice you have an electrical outlet there, so if you have a CPAP machine or electronics you need to charge at night, you can do that on either side of the bed. You'll also notice it's nice and open here, so if you have larger items or maybe small dogs or cats that camp with you, you have a little spot where they can sleep as well. This side, you also have a dirty clothes hamper. It's kind of tucked away right here, but you open this up, you'll see that goes right down into the pass-through. So what you can do is you can put a laundry basket down there, that way you have a spot to put your dirty clothes. On either side of the bed, you also have wardrobe storage. You can see the hanging rod going across, a shelf uh, in between the two right here, and then you have an LED light right here underneath. You'll also notice you have windows on both sides for cross ventilation, and one of them is an emergency exit. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2600 TB. Starting right up front here, you have the power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. It is simply a flip of a switch. You'll also see there's a second switch on here, which is for the uh, light there, in case you need some added visibility at night. Right behind that is your propane tank cover with two 20 pound tanks. It's very easy to get to those tanks. Just undo these thumb screws, lift up the door, and that will give you direct access. Right behind that, you see rails here for your battery. And then coming up the front is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So you come around to the side, you'll see that the 2600 TB does have nice storage. Starting right up front, you have this pass-through going all the way through there, nice big open storage. You have an LED light in there as well in case you need to access that at night. But bear in mind, where a lot of travel trailers, this is the only storage. This one does have a large storage area in back, we will see in just a moment. Large power awning on here as well, just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And then underneath the awning, you will see that sewed into the fabric itself is an LED light strip. This is really nice because it doesn't matter if the awning is rolled up like it is right now or fully extended, you can still utilize that light strip. The awning does have an adjustable pitch on there for rainwater. Uh, and then that LED light there as well, uh, it's just a flip of a switch. So it is nice and easy to turn that on or off. You have two speakers out here. Those are again controlled by that multimedia center, uh, or that unit that I had showed you inside, and that one is Bluetooth capable. You have three steps getting into here, nice foldable steps. Uh, I like having the third step because that way the first one here is nice and low. It's not gonna hurt your knee. Uh, if you do have bad knees, it is pretty easy to enter and exit this RV. Making our way back a little bit further, it is a little tight through here, so bear with me. Uh, but you have an electrical outlet right here, so if you need to plug anything in while you're outside, this is definitely the place you will do it. Uh, you know, it's great if you have like a crock pot or cell phones or something you need to plug in here. And the thing I like about this, again, it's pretty tough to see right now because the slide is here, but you don't have any vents or anything on this side. So this really is a great camping space, you know, from here all the way up front. Uh, you know, you can roll that awning out and you have an excellent spot to set up all of your chairs and everything uh, right underneath that awning. Then right in the back here, this is what I was talking about. If you take a peek in there, you can see huge storage underneath that bottom bunk. So nice, excellent uh, secondary storage area that, as I mentioned, oftentimes you don't get. A couple things on the back here. One is you'll notice you do have a spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing that it's riding right back here for you, and it's very easy to access. Right up top there is backup camera prep. Uh, if backup camera is something you want, this certainly makes it a lot easier to install. It's basically a plug and play, meaning it is a lot less expensive to have that installed. So definitely a nice extra feature to have there. 
cable inlet right over here to the side, terminations right down below. You'll see your gray valve as well as your black valves right here to dump those tanks accordingly. You also have an outside shower right here. This one does have both hot and cold water access. Making our way up a tiny bit further, right up here is your electric. That's your power. Just pull this cable out nice and easy. 30 amp right there. This is our water heater. As I did mention, this one does run off both gas and electric. Six gallon water heater right there. Lastly, right up front here are your water connections. You'll see this does have a connection for city as well as your gravity fill to fill your freshwater tank. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Keystone Summerlin 2600 TB. This one has the Kona interior. If you're looking for a great travel trailer that has a dinette, a couch, and two beds, you don't want to have to worry about any slides, this is an excellent one to take a look at. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.